Hello everyone. Uh, so the next lecture for next series, the series of soft computing is uh, the topic that is auto associative memory and its numerical. We have just done the basic of auto associative memory that is what it is and in the earlier lecture we have done the uh, example or numerical of hetero associative memory. So here we are going to do the auto, uh, oh, sorry, auto associative memory and its numerical. So the first thing is auto associative memory kya hai, what it is. Uh, I've told you in the earlier sessions also but just a review back to know and understand the numerical in a flow that is whenever we have the pair x and y they both refer to the same pattern that means the input and the output has the same value but the only difference is the input is in a some distorted form and we get the output which is actually stored in the database uh, so that particular says if x and y refer to the same pattern then it is termed as auto associative or it is also called as auto correlators. It retrieves a previously stored pattern that most closely resembles the current pattern. Now it is going to restore the pattern which is uh, closely matched through the database and will give you the output. Third point is very important that is it is also referred to as bidirectional associative memory which is known as BAM right uh, that is the short form now it's just an example we have given an input which is a distorted square there is uh, the database in it and the input pattern will be closely matched with all the patterns and the closed match pattern is the square box and it will give you the output as square box but x this is x input and y is the output so x and y are the same pattern right now, uh, this algorithm for pattern association, we have the HEB rule for pattern association. That is, it has five steps. First thing, we need to find out the training vector, which is denoted by capital S colon T and testing vector as X. Now, we have to initialize all the weights, which is from I1 to N and J1 to M. When I say WIJ, that means one it can be W11, W12, W13 and so on and so forth. So that is equal to zero, which is being initialized out here. Next step is for each training input vector, target output vector, we have to do three steps, which are being followed as three, four and five. Now third step says that set activation for input units to present training input. Now what I have to do is I have to set the input uh, unit to present the training input. So that is X is equal to the SI. And fourth point is set activations for output units to correct target output, which is YI and that defines the output and the correct target that is the TJ. Now, next thing is we all know that is when I define the uh, output, we have to match the output and get the error according to error we need to adjust the weights so what is the adjustment of weights wij new will be equal to the earlier one that is wij old plus xi yi that is the pair now uh, we are just going to understand this uh, algorithm completely because this this is just a written theory and we can implement it with the help of a numerical that will make you understand in a better way so the example I have taken for a associative network is, let's say use the HEB rule to store the vector. We have given the vector as one, one, minus one, minus one in an auto associative neural network. What we have to find is find the weight matrix, first point. Second point, test the net input vector is equal to one, one, minus one, minus one. This is the test net input vector we have given and we have to find out. Next is test the net with one mistake in the input vector. That means we have to test the network by making one mistake in this particular input vector. We have the input vector, this one, one, one minus one, and we have to make some one mistake. I can make any mistake. I'll just show you in the example how I have done it. Okay, so first let us find the weight, how we are going to find the weight. We all know uh, to initialize the weight using outer product have rule, which we, studied earlier in the earlier session 
that is the weight will be equal to w is equal to transpose of sp into s uh, tp right this is the formula w is equal to transpose of sp tp so what i need to do is stp is given to me and tp is given to me stp is a fine here i have the stp is equal to the tp it can be uh, it is same why it is same because we here this is the auto associative network i have already defined that xy will be of the same pattern so that is why this is the same if it would have been the hetero associative then the patterns would have been different because x and y are two different patterns so here we have the same pattern now sp is equal to 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 and tp is equal to 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 what i need to do is to find the weight i am going to make the transpose of this vector and multiply it with the tp so i know what is the transpose of this vector i am going to make the column as the row and row as the column we all know how to make the transpose so iska transpose will be this one this will be converted into this column <clears throat> one column and four rows here it was one row and four columns so it will be now one column and four rows so it will be 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 and tp will be the same 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 now what i have to do is i have to do the matrix multiplication we all know how to do matrix multiplication so i'm going to find out the matrix multiplication and i'm going to get the result as this one so this is the weight for me right for this particular neural network uh, auto associative neural network the weight will be this one okay so we have find out the weight matrix so we have to find the simple formula that is weight ke liye jo simple formula hai that is s to s to the power t that is a transpose sorry transpose of sp product with the tp so you can find it in this way second uh, part of this example says test the net input vector is equal to 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 now what i have to do is i have to test this input to perform in this right so x is equal to 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 how to find the output y in kese nikalte hain we have the summation of x i w i j so x i w i j ko jab hum multiply karenge this is the simple uh, formula we were using in the from the day one of the slide that is um, the net weighted input will be the output so net weighted input means all the x neurons with its weights are going to be multiplied and the summation will be done so y in is equal to summation x i w i j so x i we all know that is 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 w i j we have already uh, you know calculated in the first journey for the a section that is this is the weight matrix so what we are going to do is we are going to find the product again and this will be the product 4 4 minus 4 minus 4 now i can see that is you have a threshold that is activation function when y is being passed through the activation function we get the final output now this particular is whenever we have the value which is greater than 0 the answer will be 1 if it is less than 0 it the answer will be in, you know 0 uh, so 4 4 minus 4 minus 4 so the answer will be the 1 minus 1 minus 1 so the response vector y is same as the stored vector i am getting the same vector as the you know stored vector so this is the response vector y and the stored vector is x i am getting the same thing so that is why we can say it is recognizing the input vector now next thing is the third was test the network with one mistaken input vector that means I have to test this auto associative network with the help of one mistake, making one mistake in the input vector. What was the input vector? You remember input vector is 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. So I'm making one mistake. 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1 ki jaga, I'm going to make, you know, minus 1 in place of 1. So yaha pe aapka x was 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. I have replaced this 1 with minus one so this is i'm considering that i have made one mistake now i have to check the input vector right so this is the one and the weight matrix is this that is we have already calculated 
Now I'm going to find out this with the product. When I take the product, I get two, two minus two minus two. So uh, so uh, this particular is the product. So I'm finding the product of this. Okay. Uh, so the product of these two will be what? This is. I'll get two two minus two minus two. Finding the product. Now again passing the function through the activation, I'll get the final response as what? Because this is greater than zero, so I'll get one, right? So that is why instead of two two minus two, I'll get one one minus one minus one, which we already told you in the threshold activation function. So that's all for today's lecture. Thank you very much. Thank you, students.